In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build muscle fast. And more importantly, how to do it without gaining any unnecessary fat in the process while even burning some fat instead. All in five easy to follow steps. So let's get started. If you're not following the five steps I'm about to share with you, you will either end up gaining a bunch of unnecessary fat or not gain any muscle at all. So if you want to build muscle, listen carefully. Step one, consume more calories than you burn. To build muscle, you need to be consuming more calories than your body burns throughout the day. You can be doing everything else right, but if you skip this most crucial step, your muscle building goals will surely suffer. Yeah, you may be able to build a bit of muscle without consuming more calories than you burn if you're a beginner or new to working out, but your results will stagnate soon after and you'll end up looking the same week after week. So if you currently have trouble building muscle, that is probably the main reason why. You're simply not consuming enough cal quality calories every day. Think of it this way. If you want to build a bigger house, you're going to need more building material. If you want to take your car on a 10 hour road trip, you're going to need more fuel or else your, your car will break down along the way and never reach its destination. Same holds true for your body. If you want to build your body by building lean muscle mass, you will need to add some more quality calories to your diet. And the key word here is quality, but not too much more since you don't want to end up fat. Most people trying to build muscle get this part wrong and end up gaining a bunch of unneeded fat in the process by eating anything and everything in sight. Some people call this a dirty bulk. But if looking lean and uncovering your six pack is your goal, you definitely don't want to go on a dirty bulk or else the only thing you will uncover is a big old belly. To make sure that doesn't happen to you, you will want to find out how many calories you need a day to simply maintain your current weight. As I discussed in my previous video about how to burn belly fat. Once you know what that number is, simply add about 200 more calories per day and that should be enough to build some lean muscle without all the unnecessary fat. If you add too many more calories, your body won't be able to use all of it towards building new muscle and it will store the excess calories as fat. If your body doesn't need to use it, it stores it. So if you follow that advice, you should be well on your way to building lean muscle mass without all the added fat. You will also want to make sure you're getting anywhere between 1 to 2 grams of protein per pound of body weight each day since protein is the most important nutritional building block for your muscles, as well as a good amount of low glycemic carbs and healthy fats. Step 2. Progressively overload your muscles. The next most important part of building muscle is to make sure that you are progressively overloading your muscles by consistently following a proper workout program. Muscles can only grow when a consistent amount of stress is applied to them. When you work out or lift weights with a challenging amount of resistance, you are essentially tearing down your muscle fibers. And to compensate, your body eventually adapts to the stress by increasing the amount of size of your muscle fibers causing you to get stronger and more muscular so you can better deal with overload the next time you attempt to challenge yourself with the new challenging resistance. The key though is to progressively overload your muscles more and more over time. You can do this by slowly increasing the resistance and volume in your workouts every week or so. Any good workout program should contain at least one form of progressive overload built into the program since you always need to apply new stress to your muscles if you want them to consistently grow. Step three, always use proper form. <laughs> Truth is, about 95% of people that work out perform most exercise with bad form. So the chances that you are one of those people are pretty high. I was also one of those people back before I learned all this stuff and I speak from experience when I say proper form 
is one of the most important aspects to getting results, avoiding injury, and not looking like a fool in the gym. Everything from the positioning of your feet, elbows, wrists, knees, head, all the way to the alignment of your back and speed at which you perform exercises. These are all crucial aspects you must be aware of when it comes to proper form for each specific exercise. You also want to avoid using momentum on most exercises and simply um, focus more on the movement. The term time under tension is a great thing to keep in mind when performing any exercise. You always want to keep tension on the muscles you are working throughout an entire set, even if it means dropping the amount of weight so you can complete an entire set with proper form. Slow the movement down and always focus on your form. Proper form is always more important than the amount of weight you lift. You can also find an experienced personal trainer that may be able to help you in your local gym. But just because they took a personal training course over the weekend, that doesn't mean they are experts. And after watching this video, you might know more about this topic than they do. So choose your sources of information wisely and always use proper form. Step four, let your muscles recover and rebuild. After properly following three of the previous steps, your body will now be ready to build muscle fast, as long as you let your muscles recover and rebuild. To do this, you will need to reserve about two to three days per week where you will not lift a single weight. These are usually called rest days. You can still be active, but you should allow your body to recover for at least 24 to 48 hours before working out again. Also, you shouldn't work the same muscles more than two days in a row since most muscles need at least 48 hours to recover. So if you worked out your back and biceps on Monday, you shouldn't work them again until at least Thursday. Most good workout programs have strategic rest days built into them. So all you have to do is simply make sure to take advantage of those rest days by simply giving your body a chance to rest and recover. Sleep well and fuel your body with the proper nutrients to optimize your muscle gain. Step 5. Get an edge with supplements. Welcome to the mountain of protein. Where all your supplement dreams come true. <laughs> this final step can help you optimize your results while also giving you a slight edge in your performance and ability to gain more muscle faster. But it's not necessary. You will still be able to build muscle by simply following the four previous steps already mentioned. However, if you'd like to experiment with some supplements, here are a few that I would personally recommend to take on your journey to building more lean muscle fast. Number one is protein. As I already mentioned, protein is the most important nutrient when it comes to building muscle, and getting enough of it is crucial. However, since consuming one to two grams of protein per pound of body weight every single day can get pretty complicated and tiresome. Supplementing with protein powders can be very beneficial while also saving you a lot of time. Number two is creatine. Supplementing with creatine can also be beneficial when working to build muscle by increasing your muscle size and overall strength while also supplying you with more energy for your workouts. Basically, creatine pulls water into your muscles, expanding your muscle fibers and allows you to exert more force. And while you'll be able to lift heavier weight while taking creatine, this will be, cause a greater overload on your muscles and your muscles will eventually have no choice but to grow. So it's worth considering. Number three, branch chain amino acids. Most protein-rich foods already contain amino acids, and many protein powders on the market add additional BCAAs to their servings. But if building or maintaining muscle mass is one of your main goals, supplementing with BCAAs throughout the day or on workouts can be a good idea, since it will help keep your body in an optimal state for building muscle by turning on muscle protein synthesis, which is basically the term to describe the process of uh, replacing and building muscle tissues. And since building muscle is your goal, supplementing with BCAAs could be beneficial. I'll make future videos where I will talk more about these different supplements I use in more detail. But for now, if building muscle is your main goal, you should definitely think about adding a good protein powder, creatine, and BCAAs to your diet. In summary, if you follow the advice I just shared with you in this video, you'll be well on your way to building muscle. You now know more than most people do about how to build muscle fast, so go out there and be sure to use the information you just learned. 
If you found this video helpful, please support my channel by subscribing so you can get updates whenever I upload new videos. And let me know if you liked the video by giving it a thumbs up below, as I plan on uploading many more videos like this and would love to get your feedback. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions or would like to request any future video topics you would like me to post. And as I always like to say, a life worth living is a life worth improving. So, go and get some abs now! Thanks for watching and please subscribe below.